Hello, what is up guys? It is Justin here from JCow GFX and I figured I would come at you with a, uh, a Sony Vegas tutorial. So uh, first off, open up uh, Sony Vegas. Um, I'm using Pro 13, but uh, I believe this will work for any edition. Actually, I, I, I know that it will work for any edition, um, at least anything after uh, 9. So, you know, yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, this is the uh, tutorial for my uh, colors uh, thing, by the way. So I'll go through the effect really quick. So basically, it is a little bit of masking, uh, some color correction. So what the tutorial is going to be on is the uh, the masking. You see the colors that light up certain spots. Uh, it's really pretty pretty easy to do. Um, so I will be going through that really quickly. It's not that hard. Um, if you have not seen this video yet, uh, you should go check it out. I will link it in the description. Um, all right. Anyways, all right. So open up your Sony Vegas. Um, I I I believe this works best with cinematics. Um, so drag and drop whatever clip you want to, uh, whatever clip you want to do it with. Um, I I think this looks best with cinematics. Um, you can uh, mess around with it and uh, you know do it with whatever. But yeah. All right. So first off, drag your clip in. You know, maintain aspect ratio, and to sample. Uh, you know, to say where we sample. Blah blah blah. All right, so what you're gonna do after that is make a new video track right above it. Right click and click uh, insert new video track, and then control, hit control, drag this clip right above it. All right, so this is the clip that the uh, effect is gonna be on the top clip, um, and then the bottom is obviously just going to be the original. Um, all right, so go into your event pan crop, um, and what you will be doing is. Uh, <clears throat> going to masking. Oh my god, sorry, <laughs> I was completely zoning out. Um, click mask right here and uh, click enable. And what I like to do is I grab this tool and let's say we're going to uh, make the guy light up, all right? All right, so zoom in to where you want to uh, to do the effect. I make sure to be zoomed in just, just enough to see the thing that I will be outlining so I can get uh, the good detail. Um, so start and start, you know, wherever you want to start masking. So mask out the uh, masking out the weapon. I'm doing a really rough job right here just to show you guys. Um, all right, so over his hat and around him. Yada yada yada. All right. I'll go through the masking process. And you have to click if if you have to click and drag and you can't see your mask again, click right click and then select all and then you can, um, shit. Oops. All right. Right click, select all, and then. What the fuck did I do? All right. Um. <laughs> sorry. Uh. All right. Go back to that. Um, all right, so continue your masking, um, you know, mask, 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 make sure to be right on the edges, oops, all right, and I just hit control Z if I mess up, uh, control Z is undo, so if you mess up and you know you click like too far out or whatever, just control Z, so that is what I've been doing if I mess up on a point, um, of course I am doing this pretty quickly, all right, zooming out a little bit so I can see the rest of them. Zooming out, zooming out. All right, oops. All right, oops. All right, then around the gun and back to the center. All right, so that is our mask. It's almost perfectly around the guy. Um, you know, there's a little mistakes here and there, but all right, so mask out the object that you want to light up, that you want the effect to be on. Um, and then after that, you can exit that for now. Um, all right, so after that, we are going to go into video effects and go to color corrector. Um, what I like to do with this one is change the effect up and make it all different colors. I know, as, as you saw in the edit, um, the effect was done differently almost every time. The effect was not the same exact thing every time. It was different colors. It was different, um, you know, a whole different effect. So drag default onto here, onto the top clip. And whatever color you would like to do, is the uh, the color so do not you know you don't have to follow mine uh, exactly 
And first off, go uh, do not click all the way out to the edge. That will make the uh, the whole thing look a lot darker than you really want to. Um, so what I like to do is I, I like to stick in this this inner area, which is the uh, the more light one. So you can see how it's sort of turning them light. But if you click way out here, then it's like really it's heavy like outlines, and I really I just don't like that much at all. Um, so what I like to do, let, let's just say we're gonna use blue. All right, so select in this area, and then you go through on all of them. And then that is the uh, mid-tone. So the lows at first, we'll just hit the outside edges of it, you know, and then go ahead and do it for the mid. Oops. All right, so boost the mids a little bit uh, wherever you like it. You know, you can mess around with this, and, you know, you're seeing the color changing. Um, all right, so that, and then go ahead and do that for highs also. You can see the color changes on that. So whatever colors you want to do, it's really up to you. Um, and I do not mess with these settings at all. I'm just using this as the basic color um, <clears throat> sorry, uh, basic color uh, correction or color effect on him because this is masked out. So obviously if you drag this onto here, that's going to affect the outer area. All right. So after that, <clears throat> what I like to do is use the TV simulator. <clears throat> so drag reset to none onto here. Um, and this part is really where it gets up to you. Um, you know, if you if you do too much line sync, obviously that will <laughs> throw that off, and it will not be on top of him at all. And if you do too much vertical sync, that'll just be a copy of him flying around in the air. So you don't want that. I mean, you'll see it right here. It'll just literally just be a copy of him flying around in the air. So <laughs> you do not want that either. Um, what I use is what is it called? Box effect. Yeah. Um, so I keep these the same. Um, the line sync and everything is the exact same um, because obviously if you do that that'll fuck up the whole thing and you do not want that <laughs> so um, yeah and you put scan phasing all the way up that's to giving it the uh, lighting effect and that will do the uh, the movements on it you see we're gonna scroll through a couple frames and see it's sort of highlighting that area and you can you can lower that if you do not want that effect as much or you don't even have to use it at all um, so I put that all the way up at one and um, I put the detail zoom up because that gives it that sort of, it's like a grainy effect almost. Um, so I put that up to like, you know, 1.2, 1.3 in that area. I don't use this exactly the the entire time. I'll drag the uh, the template onto here and then I will, you know, change it up and do whatever. And I keep the, uh, the interlacing around 1.3, 1.5 in that area. Um, so after that, that is pretty much the effect. Um, once it starts moving, that is when you're going to have to uh, change the effect up. So let's see you, you scroll over until you hit the uh, the first frame that there will be movement and that is when you're gonna have to actually move and sometimes even reset the masking so let's see the camera movement starts does the camera movement ever start um, alright so where alright so for this one it's going to be frame 110 that's where the movement actually starts All right so you're going to go to this you're going to go to frame 110 and that would be 320 or oh this is what how many fps is this oh this is 60 fps okay <laughs> um all right that'll be 150 so minute 50 is where the camera movement starts and that is when you start your remasking so all right, so camera movement starts at 150, and a lot of the times you can drag the mask back on to the person or whatever object. If you're doing like a square or a really simple object, you don't even have to reset the mask every time. You can, you know, click select all, and you can drag that back on. So make sure I have that on checked, and you can drag the mask back on. So when it moves it also moves with him the mask moves with him and obviously this is a more complex object so this will not be able to be used because there's uh, weird camera movements and you know the feet are already off and um, the whole thing would look weird if you did that so what we're gonna do for this part is reset the mask and this is when you remask it and you literally go through and you remask it every single frame if you have a complex object that's why in the edit there is a lot more um, there's a lot more basic objects. There's a lot of squares. There's a lot of like pentagons and um, things like that. I did do it uh, to a weapon at one point in the edit, but um, that took a little bit longer than I expected. So you know, go through, go through, re, uh, re mask him, and blah de blah de blah. 
All right, he is remasked. Obviously not very well, but he is remasked. And then you can see where, you know, you can see where it starts to move again and you can move it back to him. And that is basically how you get the effect. Um, it is really not that hard of an effect. So what you have right now is that. Um, obviously <laughs> it gets fucked up because I did not mask it all the way. But the first minute and you know, or two minutes and 10 seconds, that is that effect. So it moves with them. It looks good. Um, it's a really good effect. You can do that with anything. And one of the also uh, cool things is you can change the color correction. You can actually animate it. Um, so you can go through and animate this and you say you go to the very last frame or you, let's say you go to uh, 210 where we, where we ended it and you change it to purple and you change this one to purple also. So what you have then is this sort of color changing effect. Um, God, why did I not animate that? Oh, um, God damn it. <laughs> okay. Um, so you click animate and you see that the colors are changing. Um, obviously it went from stupid to stupid. All right, we'll do blue and then it'll animate to that. So as you go through the frames, that will change and then you put this one to here also and oh god damn it this one isn't animated okay so animate and then you put that there and you see that that color changing effect and you should be able to see it now blue to purple and you can do that and that could turn into a really cool effect if you wanted to do weapon masking or um, you know you wanted to change the color of really anything in the game um, so that is pretty much the end of the tutorial guys um, if you have any questions, if you have uh, any suggestions, let me know. Um, I just figured that I would start doing, you know, a few tutorials here and there for some of the effects that I uh, use in my edits. Um, just so it's not, you know, constantly just me putting out edits or me putting out, you know, whatever. Um, there will be some teaching and whatnot here also. So uh, if you don't want to see tutorials, let me know. I won't do any more tutorials. Uh, if you want me to do some tutorials on uh, videos that I do, go ahead and suggest them or go ahead and ask or whatever. Um, so yeah guys that is about it make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see my edits or tutorials or whatever else I will be uploading to the channel so that's about it guys have a good day